Hey, what's going on you amigos? My name is Super Rebel and welcome back to another Far Cry 4 video and today we have some pretty awesome news about Pag and Min and more specifically we find out why he has a pink suit. So with that said, it's going to be a really awesome video and if you do go into enjoying it and are strong enough, make sure you guys do punch that like button down below, it'll be really appreciated if we can punch the like button all the way up to 100 plus likes. But either way, sit back, relax, grab a snack, and without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. This was supposed to be... Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you. So, according to the executive producer Dan Hay in a recent video published by Ubisoft, there's more that meets the eye to Far Cry 4's charismatic antagonist Pag Am Min and protagonist AJ Gale. And behind the magenta suit, Hay said that the development team wanted Min to have an air of sophistication about him, and even be somewhat charming. So the idea he explained was to create someone that would fool players with his appearance and turn out to be someone completely different. And he also revealed that at the start of the game, Min has been ruling the area of Kyra for 20 years and his face is even on the region's money. And he also dropped a few more hints regarding Min's characters and origins. Now his exact words were, Pag and Min wears that suit as an homage to his mum, so when you are making fun of the suit, you are practically making fun of his mum, and if I were you, I would not make fun of Pag and Min's mum. So there's the reason behind the pink suit, and if you guys remember, a few months ago there was a rumour going around on how this character is actually gay, due to the pink suit and the multicolour flags as well in the background, and basically someone phoned up Ubisoft Studios, and it basically got out like that, but of course that isn't legit, this is the official reason why Peg and Min wears a pink suit. Now where he said that the idea was to create someone that would fool players with his appearance, I think they have already succeeded with this because the game isn't even out yet and people are already judging this character, like I mentioned a few seconds ago on how he's gay, but that isn't the case. So overall, there is already that sort of sophistication about him and I think it's great and I'm really looking forward to seeing what sort of person he turns out to be in the game. Now lastly, Hay explained about the main playable protagonist AJ Gao and how he would discover Kyrat with the player despite him being a native to the region. So basically, Gao has been away from the area for a long time and Hay said giving him a special last name was also important because throughout Kyrat people will recognise and contact with him because of it. So that's today's Far Cry 4 news, if you guys would like to check out the full interview with the executive producer Dan Hay, there will be a link for you in the description below. But either way, this does bring today's video to an end unfortunately, and I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you missed earlier's video, it was a Destiny video, definitely go ahead and check that one out, there will be a link as well in the description below. But I would like to hear from you guys right now in the comment section, if you had to spend one day with Pag and Min, what would you do with him? Let me know right now in the comment section below and I'll leave my answer below too. And if you're new to this channel, thank you for stopping by. Please hit that subscribe button below to stay up to date with the latest in upcoming open world game news, ideas, updates and all that good stuff. I would really appreciate it. And of course, you will become an amigo and part of the amazing, awesome, beautiful team. But either way, I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be tomorrow. But until then, I hope you have a really awesome day. And adios, amigos.